All right, the legendary Luke is in the building. Uh -huh. About to get a haircut. Bro, let me know what you're getting done. I'm gonna show you a picture. Oh, here we go. It's like a mid to high skin fade. A lot of barbers have a tough time, you know, with my C cup. Okay. Uh, Cause you know, it's, apparently it's uneven. Okay. I just want the corner, just the corner. Just keep it square. When I look at the mirror, I just want it square. You know, the okay. fade can be a little whack, but like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want it square. I wear it like this. I wear it up and then down where it lays over the top okay. of my eyebrows like that. Okay, you uh, fancy. A lot of texture, you know, a lot okay. of that. And then I want my part, it's cosmetic, it goes mm -hmm. like that, but it, I want it to end at the top of the corner right there. Yeah. It naturally goes like this, but you know. All right, you know they're coming for you in the comments for being so picky. <laughs> no, everybody says I'm picky, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, I grew here we up go. with haters. <laughs> All right, let's get it. What's going on YouTube? I don't know if you guys skipped the beginning, skipped the consultation, but you might want to watch it, man. Luke, my client here, has an amazing personality, um, and he, he did a good job of explaining the cut that he wanted. So we're just cutting a little bit of length, um, but keeping texture so it doesn't have to be perfectly um, cut straight. As you can see, I'm just... I'm kind of just leaving as much texture as I possibly can. Now, Luke is a barber um, from Texas. He moved to Tampa, and now he's a part of the Headlines team. So we're excited to have him, excited to see you know his growth here in Tampa. Um, so look out, because look out for him. He's going to be definitely uh involved in in the vlogs and i'm sure i'm sure he'll be uh you'll be seeing him in the background and stuff of of some of our videos so we're keeping everything squared pulling everything up and using our previous cut as the guideline at this point i'm just cross checking making sure everything's even and now we're going to go ahead. You can see I'm not cutting much off of the fringe. Probably not even, not even, probably like a, it's probably like a third of an inch, if that. And mostly, I'm. you can see I'm point cutting. So that has a nice natural lay to it. So we're going to go ahead and blow dry it and prepare it for clipper work. Look at Luke. Luke is laughing and smiling the entire time, yo. You can tell we were having having a blast, having having good conversations, man. He's definitely the type of person, man, that you know his energy is contagious. You know what I mean? All right. So at this point, I'm thinning the hair out. So I'm cutting after you blow dry it. I'm cutting directly into the hair and not at, at any angle because I want to thin the hair out. His hair is very very thick. So once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and grab our number four guard and we're gonna go try to blast through the bulk here and prepare for that ball fade. All right, so now that we've, we've debulked it, we'll go ahead and start to fade. Now I started all the way open cause I kind of wanted to gauge how his hair, how the tone, color tones um, would look with the blade open and it looked good. So we went ahead and went clipper close and started our initial guideline. And we're gonna do this all the way around. So clipper close to start our initial guideline. Go ahead and bald out the rest with the trimmers to get it nice and close and that just makes it easier for the shaver to blend into the trimmers without creating a line once we've done that we'll do our blade all the way open
followed up with the shaver like I was telling you guys and again using the trimmers the trimmers are the closest you're gonna get as far as machines but as far as I'm sorry trimmers or or clippers but the shaver gets even closer and when you follow the again when you use the trimmers first and then you use the shavers you're le less likely to leave a line so now we're gonna do go ahead and do our next guideline and typically what I'll do when it, when it's the first time I cut somebody's hair is I'll go ahead and, and do all my guidelines first because I can always trust that that system, those basics, the, the fundamentals. And then I can, I can you know, um, get creative around the fundamentals. But first I like to put in these guidelines because I can trust them and it helps me gauge um, how his hair is going to be cut really especially if it's the first time you've cut somebody up so we're using our number three now above the one open guideline and this is because remember we started off with a number four and we're back to our number four just to bring everything um, together just in case you create a line or a disconnection with that three now he wants it nice and square, so we're doing some clipper over comb. Just get any little um, stray hairs that want to kind of that aren't necessarily um, cre staying squared and maybe poking out of that shape. Now we can go ahead and start that fade process, and I'm gonna start from the bottom. Clipper close, open the opening the lever about a quarter of the way. Every quarter up, every quarter inch we go up. Now it's very important to make sure that each section you're fading out is faded out nicely. You're happy with it before you move on. Because if you move on and you're not uh, um, before you're happy with that section, you're going to have to go back. You're going to be lost in your fade. Um, these guidelines are to keep you organized. Damn it, Tito. All right, that section is looking pretty blurry. Now notice I spread my section. I spread my section out a little bit more. And the reason why is because in the beginning of the consultation, he talked about his C cup and how he just wanted a little bit of the C cup to be there, not a lot. So I brought the blade open um, a little bit higher to make that to make that happen. Our next guard up is the half guard, and that's going into where we left off with that one guard open. That's that whole section, and this half guard is gonna blend the blade open into that section. Now I have my one guard closed and we're going up just beneath where we had left off with the one guard open. Now if you're afraid you're going to bring the fade up a little bit too high, that's okay. Grab that one guard, open it back up um, and then just go up a little bit with it. Um, that way you can you know where that one guard open is and you can go back to the one guard closed like you see here and fade down from that area. That's going to help you um from from bringing that fade up too high now i'm using my one and a half guard start I, I i have it closed and i can open it little by little as we go up all right let's go ahead and put the c cup in remember he just wanted a little bit and I think we've achieved that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start on this side. I'm gonna let you follow along with the color guide on the bottom left corner.
it's funny, man, because talking to Luke, you know, he was just telling me, man, that even if even if he wanted to get his hair cut every single week, it would be hard for him to find a barber that would do it because people don't like cutting his hair. And I, I know I say it all the time. I don't know what it is, but I really like to point out the hardest parts of haircuts, but I could tell you. For some reason, I always I'm, I always get difficult haircuts, and and believe me, I've gotten a, there's those there's those haircuts, there's those clients that they just take a really good fade, right? And then you have those clients, man, where you got to be careful not to mess up the shape, not to make the ridge too prominent, not to you know go up too high with the fade, man. Luke knows his hair is not easy. But honestly, I do want to cut it again because I do want to see after some experience with his hair and learning some of it, um, how I could go, you know, how I can get some better results. Um, so Luke, I want to cut your hair again, bro. I think one of the things I would do differently um, the second time that I cut his hair is I would definitely fade down. I would start from the top here like I, like I am doing uh, with the grain, with this number four with the grain, and I would completely fade down the rest of the way, trying to maintain that shape that he's looking for and that gradient. All right, so around the hairline, I'm just lowering it down a little bit with the one and a half guard, just to get it ready for a really nice clean line, and to put that um, that that um, hard part that he was uh, asking for in the consultation. And remember, he wanted it to to start at the very corner and almost curve into his natural part. So I was trying my best not to make it too thick, but it, it still needed to pop. Now in that corner that I was lining up, to be honest with you, I didn't care so much if it was prominent because it's, it's covered up with the style that he does with his hair anyways. And um, that side of his hairline wasn't that that prominent like the right side was anyways. All right, you guys can see that nice square shape. Doing some scissor over comb to refine it even more. And of course, I'm going to spend a bunch of my time in that area because if you're paying attention to the consultation, you know that was the most important thing for him he didn't even care if his fade came out good as long as that shape was there so i made sure you know i spent as much time as possible in that area so we did enhance the cut guys this is the before my dog loop this is the after Put a little bit of styling, a little bit of texture. Got that squared shape, got that blurry fade. Guys, let me know what you think about the cut in the comments below. We do daily content on this channel. It is 1.30 in the morning that I'm doing this voiceover. By the way, if you guys don't know, Luke is the newest member of the Headlines team. <laughs> he will be at the Northdale location. You can check him out. My man's a beast. I'm going to do a live stream, the Six Figure Barber live stream, so we can get you on there. What's up? You want to do it? You got receipts? We'll see. I'll check it out. <laughs> Yo, guys, go check him out on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. <laughs> great guy, man. Luke is a great guy. All right, guys. I'll see you out tomorrow with the next video.